It seems like people have been overwhelmed trying to dig out from all of the snow. Some people are still cleaning up the damage. And with all the bad, you can always find a ray of sunshine. People going out of their way to show kindness to others. I talked to one good neighbor in Pocatello who saw the need and jumped right in. I woke up and we didn't have power. And I looked out the window and my neighbor had a tree laying on his house. And I thought, you know, I, I can go help with that. I have experience with saws. So I went over, knocked on the door, woke him up, and I, I cut the tree for him. And it got me thinking, there's got to be more people that are worried about this exact situation. Matt Hansen helped his neighbor get his tree taken care of. And then he decided he wanted to do more. So he posted this message in a Facebook group, and the calls started coming in. A lot of people reached out, and I was able to go out in the community, and I got to help some folks that, that might not have gotten help otherwise. He says by serving others, he was really the one that got the blessings. Uh, you know, I, I think I was actually the selfish one in all this. I think I got more from it than anyone else did. So far, he's helped about 15 people clear the mess off their property. Well, is he always like this, helping other people? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he and his wife finally got to their own backyard, but they say they still have lots of people they're going to help. And in doing this, I kind of thought, you know, maybe people will see it and potentially go out. And these small acts of kindness have a bit of a ripple effect. And he hopes this message of kindness keeps branching out. It's, it's a simple act. It's a simple act. Just do something small. It doesn't cost money, and you never know what it can lead to. And it is so great to see the community reaching out to help each other. Seems like every time you go out of your way to help people, good things come back to you.